Greetings YouTube. In today's video I will talk about some limitations in CapCut for PC that I have encountered. I am using the latest beta version 1.2 which is the latest version at this moment. I'm sure ByteAdance will fix many of these issues soon. Nevertheless, these issues are quite annoying. So let's get started. The first problem that comes to mind is the incorrect translation. Although officially seven languages are supported, the translation is often inadequate. For instance, this sentence should read something like auto-delete cache files older than 30 days or similar. To be honest, this translation sucks, even my English is better. The next problem concerns keyframing. This problem is even more important and even more annoying. Let me show it to you. First, let's add a keyframe. Move the playhead, deselect the clip, the keyframe icon has disappeared. Why is this? In other applications, keyframes are displayed correctly. Keyframes are displayed correctly, and they can be moved or deleted. Keyframes are also visible on a white background. If you press the delete key after selecting a keyframe, the clip is deleted, not the keyframe. Keyframes on a white background are not really visible in CapCut. Why is that? I already reported this issue, but the support did manage to respond. The next thing I miss in CapCut is zoom to selection. Other applications have this feature. Maybe I'm missing something here, if so let me know in the comments. The next limitation I encountered is the lack of fuse support. For some reason, CapCut does not support fuse. I want to save my CapCut drafts to a fuse drive, but right now that's not possible. Hence I had to switch to WebDAV. Customize hotkey. How the heck do I customize hotkeys in CapCut? If you have a clue, leave a comment below the video. The next problem is really annoying. Why do I have to download all the elements like stickers, effects, transitions, and so on again and again? I think I know the answer. But still, this behavior is very annoying. Okay, those were some bugs, limitations, and annoyances in CapCut for PC that I encountered, in no particular order. It takes many hours to create this fresh and original content. If you enjoyed the show, hit the damn like button to give back some love and respect. Peace.